Boy, these chickens are enjoying these leaves. I just watched my rooster find a massive earthworm underneath of the leaves. So it rained this morning a little bit and the ground is still a little, little damp, but uh, the earthworms tend to come up, especially right now. It's such a warm day and these, these chickens are loving it. Today we got to move some piggies. So this mama pig and her babies are going to be moved over into that paddock right there. You can see it's all grown up really nice, which is what we want to do. We do try to rotate them, um, but this time of year it's a little bit harder. How long you need it? <laughs> Ella, go ahead and get the hose screwed up, please. Double check that gate, make sure it's nice and locked. Hi, you're gonna be so happy over here. So we're moving piglets and all the piglets are now going to be combined because they've been in quarantine for a good bit and they're ready to go into the big pasture which, which this pasture line goes all the way down and so we combined everybody and now we're getting ready to move them over Let's see if I can get them come here babies I might have to help my husband this is the part that kind of gets interesting. Come on, guys. Come on, baby. Hey, hey. It'd be better if you're not out with you. Yeah, in a second. We gotta finish. Hey, Nell. Hi, 
Hi, baby girls. You're gonna have so much fun. These guys are definitely gonna be a lot happier. They've got a lot more room to go be, be pigs. They're gonna explore for a little while. We'll put out some food. They'll find their way. We moved our big boy uh, Berkshire boar over to his own bachelor pad for a little while because he has no gilts or cells that he needs to spend some quality time with. I've got mama girl over with her two little babies um, separated in her new area. This girl right here is next up to Pharaoh. What is it? Yeah, I'll give her some food. So we moved her over in this section for a little while because I think if I had my dates all correct, she is going to Pharaoh in the middle of January. Um, January 18th. I think is the date, if I remember correctly. Um, and then all of the piglets, including our new biscuits and gravy, are in the big, big area, which that's a good couple of acres um, that they have fenced in. It's in the brush, the wood line, so they're really enjoying just, you know, doing the whole pig thing. So, well, hi, Miss Reba. Hi, beautiful. So when are you gonna give me a baby, huh? When are you gonna give me a baby? This girl right here, that is due to Pharaoh next. She is a Berkshire Manga Cross. Was she a three quarter? Yeah, I believe she, yeah, she was a three quarter Berk Manga Cross that we had here on our farm. Um, this will be her first litter, so I'm kind of excited to see. We've had really good luck with the crosses. Um, but again, I know I've shared in the past, like, I want more peers again. I don't think I'll cross any more and keep any more um, because I don't want to breed out the manga traits. So this will be, this will be pretty much as far as we go with the crosses. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're excited to, to see what she, what she gives us. Where's that going? Is that good? Is that good? I got egg for you. Here you go. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely starting to get a little bit of some bagging. Little development. Nothing too, too much quite yet. Oops. What are you doing, Violet? Are you watching all this commotion? Hmm. Hey, you want to go? These are good some eggs. Some babies. Yeah, let's go. Um, I already did those guys. Let's go see about the baby babies. Okay, are they, they hard-boiled? Huh, yeah, they're hard-boiled. The other update that I can share is that my beautiful big girl Longhorn. So this, no, not you, not you. That girl back there, she is starting to get a little bit of an utter development. I also noticed a little bit of springing in the back, which is kind of exciting. <laughs> Mister, would you like my attention? Would you like my attention? Oh, you're such a butt. The animals are pretty much all taken care of, except we've got one more thing that we gotta get done. Our cows need another round bale. Maggie. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta give them a, give them a bale of hay.
I do love how the cows get so excited when we give them a new bale of hay. The way they celebrate makes it a little easier to come out here and take care of them on a regular basis, especially when you've been feeling under the weather. So I did post and I shared with you guys that I didn't get a video up um, because I was not feeling well, which no matter what, when you get sick, you still have to you still have to do farm stuff. You still have to do homesteading stuff. You still have to take care of the animals. And so, you know, this is life. This is what we're, we're doing. So today was a good day. Today I felt good. We all were able to get outside and enjoy this beautiful day. I'm glad you guys got to come with us. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.